Hey everybody, what's up? Jared here, back again with another episode. So today, we're gonna to be actually making something super simple. I don't have nearly the camera set up as I had before because we don't need it. Today is gonna to be a super simple meal. Wife's out of town, so I'm cooking for myself, and so I'm just gonna make a simple chicken sandwich, right? And this one's gonna be super easy. Anyone can do this one, uh, and just follow along with me, okay? So I'm gonna hop over here to the fridge and pull out our main ingredient. This one, we're using these chicken breast fillets. Uh, these are from Aldi, so if you've got an Aldi near you, you should be able to pick these up. These things I had never tried before, I just bought them, uh, but I saw an article where apparently there's a whole Facebook group just for this chicken. It's called Red Bag Chicken is what uh, the, the Aldi fans call it. Uh, so I saw it at Aldi, I was like, well, we'll give it a shot, and it's actually pretty good. Uh, not like mind blowing or anything, I wouldn't start a Facebook group over it, but it's definitely good, and so that's what we're gonna be using here today. So the first and the main step is we're just gonna cook this. So I've already got the oven preheating, I'm gonna cook it at 450. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using the convection option on my oven. My oven has that. Uh, and so that gives me the advantage of basically having my oven act like an air fryer. If you don't have that, you can just use an air fryer. Um, but my oven has the option to do that. And if you don't have either one, just use your oven. It's totally fine. And if you want to fry your chicken as well, you can do that. I'm lazy. I'm not going to do that. So. I'm just gonna pull out a little pan. This is like a pizza sheet, good enough for me. I'm just gonna pop two of these bad boys on here. These two are looking pretty good to me. All right, that's that. I'm gonna pop these in the oven. And we just gotta let those cook for like 40 minutes. Around the 30 minute mark, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna start making the rest of the stuff. It goes with the sandwich, which is, is not much, by the way, uh, so just so you guys know that. All right, see you in a little bit. Hey everybody, what's up? Hey everybody, what's up? We're back. So the weather's changed a little bit outside. It's not nearly as bright in here as it was before. Hopefully that's okay. But the chicken's been in there for like half an hour, and so we're gonna go ahead and start on the rest of this thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my buns out. Now I'm just using some cheap buns that you can buy, like literally the cheapest buns that you can buy at the store. Um, you know, it, a good sandwich is better with better bread. But however, I'm broke, as we probably all are, and so I'm gonna use this bread because it's cheap. So what I'm actually gonna do is anyone who ever bakes, makes a sandwich, knows the most important rule of making a sandwich is that you always, always toast your bread. Now, I'm guilty of not doing that oftentimes, but today is not that day. I'm going to toast my bread. So, what I'm going to do is I just, normally you would want to do this with butter, uh, I don't have any butter thawed out, so I'm just going to use some oil. And I'm just going to slather it right on the buns. Okay, I'm actually going to do a little more. And then I'm also going to flip these top buns over, and I'm just going to do a little bit on the tops of these as well. And then we're just gonna stick these right in here with our chicken while it's finishing up. We're just gonna let those toast in there for just a few minutes. In the meantime, let's get out the rest of our stuff that we need to build this sandwich. And that is a total of two things. So I don't know how well this is gonna work. This is all a guess for me, but what I have here are just two small things. The first is last night we had chili cheese fries. And so I got some leftover chili and nacho cheese. I'm not gonna use the chili, 
I am going to use the nacho cheese. I'm gonna use that as a cheese sauce for this sandwich. The second thing is some sauce I made. This is basically like a barbecue mayo. Um, so how I made the cheese sauce is very, very simple. Essentially, it's a can of evaporated milk. And how I made the nacho cheese is super simple. Essentially, all it was is just a big old hunk of Velveeta and a can of evaporated milk and a little bit of hot sauce. In my case, I used some Valentina and a little bit of Sriracha. That's all it is. It's super simple to do. And then you just let that cook down until it becomes a good quality sauce. This stuff, if you Google Raising cane sauce, that's essentially where I got the recipe from is Raising Cane's. Uh, it's very similar to that. So if you just Google Raising cane sauce, uh, you'll be able to make this sauce. Just gotta heat up this nacho cheese sauce a little bit. I'm gonna toss it in the microwave for a second. All right, and our bread is looking nice and toasty. Chicken's probably done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this stuff out. And as you can see, right there is our food. Bread is nice and toasty. That's good. So we're gonna set a piece of chicken one right there, a piece of chicken two right there, and then our buns. All right. And we're gonna start to build our sandwiches. We'll set the first two buns just like that, our top buns right here. Start with this sauce here. I'm not gonna go too heavy on this because I'm gonna go heavier on the cheese sauce. So just a little bit of this. And then we go ahead and set our pieces of chicken. These are like perfectly sized for these buns too. And then layer on some cheese sauce. Now, if you had like bacon or something, that would probably go really well on here. I don't have any on hand, but that is it. These are the sandwiches. I'm really excited about them. Can't wait to try them. First, gotta do due diligence, get a good picture. And I usually am doing food photography with my phone because it's easier and it's what's available. So, boom, chicken sandwiches done. Let's give this bad boy a shot. Mm. It is quite good. Hot. It isn't quite what I expected, which is weird because I know what the flavors were. I know what it's supposed to taste like, but I don't know. It just hit me a bit different. Guys, you should make this. It's pretty good. Make your own natural cheese sauce. Make this or buy a little bit of cane sauce if you want to. If not, use whatever sauce you got. That's fine. Make this. It's good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. Hope you guys tune in for the next episode and I will see you then. Peace.